Hello and welcome back to the Vasily Aromeon channel and to our Russian campaign in which we managed finally to defeat the auto scams and now we are trying to restore our manpower, our general situation, bring it to a more proper condition and maybe in the future we're gonna go to war against Commonwealth and Germany that guarantees them or maybe we'll do something else I don't know at this point we have too much on our hands to care about Germans about Poles about anything our half of our country was completely devastated even though it's surprising that the central regions of our country are actually doing okay we probably should start building better fortresses on the border with the Ottomans. We already have this fortress in Bessarabia, which protects Berlat and Bender. And we might want to get another one in... Is there any resource that can give better protection or something? Not really. We do have one in Drogobish. Hmm, but it doesn't protect the whole area. So we either need to build it in Halic or to build another one in Suchava. Okay. I don't know, we gotta do something. So we court the provinces in Moldavia. We're gonna make them a state and we're gonna fully core it. And even more, if we can accept them, we shall accept them. Because they are a fellow Orthodox nation and I have no problem about accepting them into our fold. Okay. And now our thing that we were trying to do for so long is to actually visualize the Jurgens. We need to get more diplomatic reputation from somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know how, but we need it. Let's revoke some of that stuff. I don't know, we can't really get any additional advices. We already have one. We... Is there anything that actually makes our reputation worse? No modifiers, nothing. I don't see it. What's the issue then? Overextension, I see. So once we get over our overextension, we can get to... 12 uh, points in this thing. Okay, not here. Here. Currently we have 9. We can get 12. And would still not be enough. We will need one from somewhere. And I have no idea. Oh, we can influence them. Oh, wait, that wouldn't help us, would it? And we only have this one loan. And I will refuse to pay. Because why would I pay? Let's core this province. We shall make it a territorial core. We'll not core it fully. And before we start annexing Cherkessia or Livonia, we should think about vassalizing Georgia. And when it comes to Nitra, I will actually make them a march. We'll give them at least all the Slovakian territories, but ideally I would like to give them whole of Pannonia. I mean, the thing that is, that was Hungary. Oh, judges are so kind as to give me some knowledge. I'm not against knowledge, I'm all for knowledge. Knowledge is power. Now let's build some stuff in here. Let us build military administration in Chita, in um, Yakutsk, and maybe even in Akhotsk. Here and I don't know where even. Let's get it here and here, basically everywhere. Progress exchange. Let's build them everywhere since we have money right now. And this permanent quarters. I think we have enough money to build all of them. But nothing else, I guess. We'll leave it as it is for now. 
Also, we got our five ships in here. I mean, is it control? Yes, it is. Deselect these boys, send them to Sevastopol. Let us merge these guys and let's protect our trade in Crimea. That will give us plus six ducats a month, which is very nice. Good. Everything is good. There's a technology we can get, which is yet again military tech. I don't think we should or should we? I don't know. I would rather invest these points into our provinces. Because currently we don't have that much development. Let's invest some of them. There we go. And the age of revolution is upon us. Finland asks for help. I, I am willing to do that. Somalia abolitionism. Oh my. That's a huge Somalia. And it's funny that it was them who decided to abolish slavery. Absolutely ahistorical. These people in Africa, they were the main slave traders for centuries. It was the Brits who abolished it. But well, this is Europa Universalis, it's just a game which is fairly ahistorical in many aspects. Now, okay, our manpower is slowly recuperating, which is nice. Here we can actually get these decks. We can also upgrade the ships and this ones. Foreign officers. Oh, I guess we can spend money for that. And now when it comes to Georgia... Wait, did we core that thing already? Oh, it's still being cored. That takes quite a lot of time. And it's still interesting why it's Commonwealth Separatists and not Polish. Isn't it even possible for Poland to exist if the Commonwealth is formed? I wonder. I really do. Okay, whatever. We lost the general, it's higher. Oh, we already have one here. I also want to see how much troops Germany have. They have a similar amount, but remember that we lost... I don't remember if we lost four or three armies. As far as I remember, we have eight. Or I had eight, but we now have five, which means that we lost three, not four. Which kind of makes me a misinformator. Porcelain and Mycin, okay. In any case, we gotta create a template so that it will be easier to create armies in the future. 30, 10, 10, and we shall name it Russian Imperial Army. There we go. And there's the revolt in Poland, and if it was Polish revolt, I actually would have given them actual independence, but these are not Poles, these are Commonwealth, interestingly. Also, we converted something somewhere, I don't know what it was, but we need to convert it, so yay for us. Enlightenment has appeared in Moscow, great! Now, since we replenished our resources, we might want to start finishing the investments in here 
There we go. And just harbor thing left. Money are coming. Now we can finally start hiring additional army. Where shall we hire it? Oh, we don't have enough money, I see. There's always something that we lack. JJ, my boy, come on. Come on, man. If we influence them, they will also receive one to the opinion trust. Okay, it won't actually help us. I see. Interesting, what dynasty do they have? Yas, Yashvili. Okay. These guys have von Münhausen and these they trust tomorrow, so they have the same dynasty. These guys have Petrezok. Yeah, there are no Rudikovich anywhere. What a sad situation. So this thing we shall leave as a territory. I'm okay with that. We shall leave them rather autonomous. Okay, so we started also converting these guys in the east. Which is very nice. And now, let's see one thing I'm wondering about. Here. Now they are ready for that. Beautiful. Finally we did it. Jaja is now my vassal. Which means that now I can start annexing the other boys. Say we can start with Cherkassia or I don't know. Let's start with Livonia actually. Let's start annexing them first, and afterwards we shall annex Cherkassia. That's a lot of rebellions they have, interestingly enough. And we lost the advisor guy, we should hire someone else. Hmm, okay, let's hire him. It's not like he is useful, but what can we do? Then we can get the military tech, which I would rather not take right away. Oh, we can abolish slavery in our country. National tax modifier. So the only thing it would give us is technology cost, and we are already far away in technology, and I would prefer to have missionary strength for the future. So, nope. It's not like we have slaves in our country in any case. Oh, historically, serfs in some periods were treated kind of like slaves in Russia. And, well, since we didn't enserve our peasantry, we can say that we don't have them. So, administrative technology, or maybe there's these resource in Azov, which is slaves. This historically represents the place in which the Tatars were selling slaves all around from the Slavic regions. Just for you to know, the word slave itself comes from the name for us Slavs. There were so many of us enslaved that, well, the name became the thing for all of them. So, we can get this deck, which is nice, counting house, guarding capacity, good stuff. Now, let us start hiring. So, that will put us at... 300, 400, 3 and 50, and plus another army that would put us at 400, and 400 is about what I need right now. I guess we shall declare war on the 
since we have a long history with the Ottomans. We shall, or actually it's in three years. We might actually wait until it is up and attack them. Another thing, the Ottomans have a huge... Again! Dude, would you look at that? Again, they have a huge army with a lot of manpower. How on earth this is possible? I do not understand at all. In any case... Damn, this annexation of uh, Livonia is going very slow. Yossi from Ulyanovsky, by all means. Still getting money despite knowledge sharing and advisors. Good stuff, our economy is in a pretty good shape. And there we go. We got f how many? Nine? Seven armies, we need eight. So let's wait for our manpower. Talking about our manpower, let's actually build a couple barracks. Ver, Karkov, Cherkasse. That's about all we can afford. Don't have much money. University of Suzdal. But there is no university in Suzdal, is there? Where is Suzdal? Somewhere here, yes. Yeah, I like this event. It happens, but there is no university at all. But free stability is free stability. So. Let's wait until we get enough money for the 8th army and for oh damn it, peasants upset in where? Ladoga. Now we gotta send an army there. Ladoga, Ladoga. Wait, there, there it is. Run boys, run, we gotta give it to them. Now we should improve all the forts on the border with the Ottomans. No, we don't have money for that. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Go to Kiev. Let's get the tech. We can get the Royal Mortar now, which is nice. Probably decrease our spending on the army, that would give us twice as much money, even more. Two and a half, actually. And we can just wait until we get enough for an army and for all the fortresses that we need. I guess now we have enough for the army, okay, maybe not. How much it requires? Doesn't actually tell. Okay, seven three five. Any case, let's hire it. And let's hire an advisor, a trader. And basically, we will be able to declare war on the Ottomans next year. We gotta pounding them until they die. I hate them. Every single one of them. For all they did to us in the last war. Imagine destroying three of my armies. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. There we go. 
eight armies, which puts us at 400,000. Okay, that's just marginally smaller amount than what the Ottomans have. We actually started building a proper fort in here. We can improve this one uh, also. And we also build one in Su oh, damn it, we can build one in Suchel. Or rather, in order to do it, we gotta invest loads of money into its development. But afterwards, we're gonna build a fortress there as well. So basically, this is covered, this will be covered, and this will be covered. We can improve the one in here, as well as we can improve the one in Crimea. And also, hmm, since they really like to come through these territories, we might want to build a couple of forts here. So yeah, yeah, we can spend a lot of money on that stuff. We have the beautiful, beautiful economic ideas. We might also want to improve this fort, but first we build a fort in Yekaterinodar. Wait, what? Why is Stavropol is in Yekaterinodar when it's actually here? Weird stuff, let's rename it. That's weird, actually. Well, theoretically there can be a city named Stavropol in that area as well, but that would be kind of stupid to have two cities with the same name, which are not exactly close to each other, that's like pretty long distance, it's like from, I don't know, Bavaria to France or something, but still. Oh. Germs are the birthplace of the revolution, interesting. In any case, let us... Okay, we're already building this one, let's improve this and this. And then let's wait for some money to build one in Yekaterinodar. Yes, a new Tsar. Oh, so the previous Tsar died and now we got this guy. I see. So this means that we need a new general. There we go. Now let's wait for enough money to build a fortress in here. And we also need to improve the development of these provinces. And we need 683. Let's wait just enough. And by then we gotta go against the Ottomans. But we have to prepare. We have to prepare, that's for sure. We shouldn't stumble into this war without preparation. And actually... Damn, I forgot about the Eastern Front. So basically we would need a fortress in here. In... where else? We need a lot of fortresses, that's for sure. It would seem that we need a bit too many fortresses for my taste. Now we don't have money for all the others. So basically let's improve this one as well. And then we will build one in... Uh, Yaik. Which would cover this whole territory. And then we build one in Ekaterinodar. And that way... This whole area will be covered, more or less. The only way they can get to us will be through the north. Or, theoretically, we can even build something in the north. There's also a pretty nice place in Solikamsk. Local defensiveness, salt. Let's improve the development in this province. 220. Something like this, and that would allow us to build a new fortress. So we need three new fortresses. Let's move all the ones that we already have so that we could get the money faster. So we can start building the one in Yekaterinodar. 
then we built one in Yaik and one in Solikamsk. And that basically will cover the whole of our central regions. I don't care much about Siberia. Those regions are trade companies in any case. That's a lot of fortresses we are building. Ah, eh, whatever. So one here has already been built, this one has been improved, the one in Austria and two, Stavropol, Vashenskaya. Now let's start build one in Yaik, we need a bit more money. Fortress, there we go, and now it's just the one in Solikamsk. And that way our European border will be completely covered, at least on the side of the Ottomans and their allies. And that's about what we need. We don't need to cover ourselves in Siberia at least too much, we are not at war with anyone there and those provinces are mostly worthless in any case. No, no and no. Now let's wait. Let us wait some more and there we go, the fortress in Solikamsk. And now we can actually go speed 5, let's just wait for those fortresses to be ready. And once that happens, we shall declare war on the Otoskams. Fortified borders are important. No. And we've got General, which is nice. We might also want to actually get some more money for our treasury before we go into this war. Just as a war chest, you know. Oh, I closed something I didn't do notice what it was. No, it was about building those great projects. I don't care about them that much in any case. So, now it's just three fortresses that we need to get ready. And there's the alarm clock, which means that we gotta finish the episode right about now. Well, that means that I guess we're gonna f be finishing the fortresses in the next one. And we will be able to go to war against the Autoscams in the next one, and that is very nice. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!